Eddie, we just got the uh, injury report on your shoulder. Probably. Shoulder's fine. Don't ask no questions about my shoulder. No questions. Shoulder's great. But you looked a little sore last night. No, I don't, I don't remember that. Sorry. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, soreness. A um, <laughs> couple of plays where um, last night where I felt it a little bit. But um, see how it goes. Was it aggravated from the black shot? Is that when you first chose it or was you feeling it before that? Uh, I really don't remember if I was feeling it before that. Um, I know I was feeling it a little bit before the game, um, but the block shot definitely uh, caused that like, soreness to, to wake up a little bit. But, I mean, um, still was able to go through the game fine, um, you know, do some treatment afterwards. Uh, but I think the block shot, as far as I can remember, kind of woke it up a little bit. So you were saying in Chicago, had four days off or so, four or five days helping. Was that being Dr. AD talking? That's the medical staff talking? Or, and is that still no, that's just me, just knowing. I mean, if any injury, if you obviously sit out a couple of days, you know, you get a, get a chance to heal. Um, you know, so that's, that was just me, just kind of being a doctor myself. <laughs> you and LeBron talk so much about this being a marathon, obviously, and you guys expect to be playing into June. Yep. If, if the medical staff came to you and, and said that it made sense to to sit out a game, how receptive to that would you be? How high of a, how, how much would they have to do to convince you to? <laughs> that um, I think it's just looking at the pros and cons of it. Uh, I see if it makes sense, and then you know, and they give me reasons why, um, for the betterment of the team. Then, you know, um, you know, I guess we can go forward with it. But um, if it doesn't make sense, and you know. I can still go out there and play, um, and it makes sense for me to play, then you know, we try to play. What do you yeah, think of the like, whole load management trend in general? I'm, I'm, if I can play, I won't play. You know, that's that's my thing. I've been injured enough where I missed tons of games, you know, uh, so I had plenty of load management <laughs> games. <laughs> um, and so just being in a situation where you know, with the team we have and the opportunity we have, you know, I want to be on the floor as much as possible and, and contribute to um, our success. How does this limit you at all? The soreness and the show was the limit that stopped from what you can't do the way you, the way you would like I can, to. Um, so I can do everything. I don't think about it when I'm playing. You know, it's the, it's the thing after the play, like I say, after a block shot, like, oh, I feel it. But as I go back playing, it's, I'm playing off adrenaline. So I don't really, you know, think about it much. Um, you know, what is after games is hard. You know, when you kind of cool down. So I constantly have heat packs and stuff on, on it on the bench. But um, you know, the more I don't think about it, uh, the easier the games are for me. You mentioned it. Oh, sorry. You, you obviously hit a couple shots after that block um, last night, but there was, you know, maybe a minute where it looked like the shoulder was kind of hanging down at your side. Your arm was. Was there any point there where you thought, oh, maybe this isn't going away and no. we can check it out? No. Uh, like I said, if I step on the floor, my job is to play basketball and help the team win. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, never get to a point where I feel like I'm hurting the team. You know, then, you know, uh, I might have to re reconsider some things. But anytime I'm on the floor, I want to play. Um, I'm going into a game, um, you know, if, if it's bothering me, and then maybe, like I say, talk to the medical staff and see what's the best option. But um, if I'm, you know, lining up to play, um, there's probably a very low chance that you know I'll pull myself because of because of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're belaboring this, but it initially was was tweaks on the missed dunk like two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, has has it changed at all for the better in those? Two yeah. Weeks? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it, it's gotten much better. Uh, just when you plan and you get hit or, you know, re it, you know, kind of take a couple steps back. But um, nothing like it was the first time that it happened. So um, we're moving in the right direction. It's getting better. You know, just um, certain plays that, you know, kind of take a couple steps back. And, um, you know, wish it didn't, but it's basketball, you know, uh, when you're making, you know, plays like I make or do some of the things I do the way I play, it's, just, it's actually going to happen. Yeah. Anything that you know, like that you compare it to, not something that 
you know, maybe you missed 10 or 15 games for like something kind of chronic that just sort of stuck with you through. I never had anything like that. No. This uh, is kind of new in that regard. Yeah, it's new, yeah. Yep. LeBron said the other night, sort of the exact same thing you're saying now, if I'm, if I'm healthy, I want to play. How much do you guys compare notes? Is this just sort of how you both feel independently of one another on this? No, uh, I've never talked to him about anything. I mean, we know what our goal is. We know what we want to do as a team. And um, let's say in order to do that, you know, we need everyone healthy and be on the floor. Um, now, obviously, there's going to be games where stuff happens or injuries where, you know, we can't control. Um, it's going to cause guys to miss games. But um, for the most part, you know, we want to play every game. Last two questions, To your please. point about playing through adrenaline, were there any turning points in your career of, of mastering the art of playing through pain and all that? You know, y'all write about me every day and all my injuries. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, I mean, it's basketball. Like, you know, for me, it's just, you know, not being able to play much last year, you know, in the second half of the year. Um, you know, it's it's tough sitting out of games, you know, just not being able to do anything, you know, not be able to play the sport that you like, well, that you love. So for me, you know, anytime, you know, I get a chance to play, I want to play just because I missed so much time last year. And same way for Brian. I mean, you know, he haven't missed the playoffs in a while. So to, to sit home in April, you know, and you know, do all this stuff, able to film movies that he probably wouldn't film, you know, it's it was new for him. So um, maybe that's where it comes from, man. To go back to your question, maybe that's where it comes from, where, you know, we just want to play as much as possible because we, you know, miss so much time. To be sure, it, it is your goal to play tomorrow night. I yes. Yes. I mean, but at the end of the day, I mean, we got to see how it feels. Feels good right now, but um, you know we're going in with the mindset that we go through shoot around, um, see how I feel throughout the course of the day and tomorrow, and uh, shoot before the game. And if it feels good, then pencil me in.